Did he just kill Mr. Krabs? Oh my god, Mr. Krabs, no! Your eyeball! Oh my god, there's dark, dark stuff going on in SpongeBob's home right now. And the pineapple under the sea, there's stuff going on that you wouldn't believe. Welcome to Self Scare, the gaming show where I play scary games. I'm sure that looking at this scene before you, you are already shaking in your boots. Because frankly, I, looking at what it looks like on the camera, am shaking in my boots. I'm wearing boots on the couch and I'm positively shaking in them. I bought this costume pretty much exclusively for these eyes, okay, which are actually sunglasses. They're implemented as sunglasses through which I can see almost nothing. And um, I look like this in them. Anyway, as they say on a day like today, happy, day happy Halloween. Halloween. As you can see, I've put a lot of effort in today. Astronomical amounts of effort. I would, however, like to get ahead of some comments, just in case any of you are weebs and we're going to comment on what's happening over here with Mr. Bones. I know absolutely nothing about Naruto. I just thought this would be funny. I know zero Naruto lore. Well, that's a lie. The one piece of Naruto lore that I know is that they're now making a sequel series about his son, whose name is Boruto. I do happen to be aware for some reason that Naruto's son is named Boruto. So I only remember that because of how absolutely mind-blowing it is. But anyway, so I know the theme so far this month has been games from game-making communities. Today we're just going on itch.io, which I've said like that because I just tried to say itch.io like four times in a row and couldn't do it. So today we're going on itch.io. I know that doesn't really count as like a game-making platform. It's basically just a place to post a link to your game, but this is my channel. These ideas come from my brain, so just shut the fuck up and sit down. Okay, so late night mop. It said it's gonna be about house cleaning. I'm having flashbacks to house flipper thinking, you know, this is probably just gonna be like a lovely relaxing experience for this lovely evening. Hello? Sorry for calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going by the house? You don't know what time it is? It's not that up. late. I, uh, I made a bit of a mess and uh, I need the house cleaned as I have some guests coming over in the morning. What house cleaner are you able to call at any time of night to say come clean before morning? Um, I was just about to say I'm not going to get jump scared and then even even that light turning on, I kind of jumped a tiny bit, but you know what? I'm really not, I'm not feeling like it's gonna happen to me. I'm feeling like I'm in a good mood. Picking up the mop is something I can do. There is shit on the floor. There is shit on the floor. I do have to look down while I am mopping the shit off the floor. I'm already convinced I'm seeing faces. Is that a face? I swear they made it look like a face from afar, did they not? This is not even that bad so far. Oh my god, this is so easy. This is easy shit. I don't know what kind of house this is that's laid out like this, but so far I'm having a great time. Yeah, what happened in here? This guy said, I made a bit of a mess, he said. I would say so. This man was going on a little shitting spree all over his house. This literally is very much house flipper vibes though. I'm not even joking. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even joke about something like that. Oh, this guy went on a bender. Oh, but he's staying hydrated. He's staying so hydrated is the thing. Oh, it's an absolute mess. Do you even, do you see this, Boruto? I just start calling him Boruto. What does Boruto look like? Does he look exactly like Naruto? I feel like if I just focus on my job, if I just mind my business and keep looking at the floor, nothing's gonna happen to me, right? Cause like, I just heard a little knock at the door. I just heard a little, a fun little knock on the door. But if I just ignore it, what could happen to me? Nothing. I'm not gonna open that. I'm not gonna open that. I'm mopping on carpet. Ew, ew. That gave me a horrible feeling. No, this is so giving house flipper. This guy was absolutely going on a paper crumpling, water drinking, shitting on the floor type of bender. Is something gonna happen when I finally get all this cleaned up? How is it that the mop can clean every single thing? Every single surface? This mop can clean. I've never seen a mop like it. This is giving me like a false sense of security with how boring this is so far. So like the next thing to do is to open that door, right? And something's gonna happen. Something's gonna spook. Ah! Okay, let's get ready. 
I'm like ready to just run through it. Dude, this guy keeps all of his keys on, on little doilies, on little doilies in the hall. When was the last time you saw a doily in the hall? <laughs> right now, right at this very moment. And in here they've got like some ugly ass, you know, like this is this is straight up like a sheet of linoleum with some vague wood grain on it. It's hideous. But then here they have some beautiful original hardwood floors. I have to click on things exactly 20 times for it to actually go. Just so you know, that's what's happening. The real horror is how many plastic bottles this guy is using. That's what I think. Oh my god! I was not expecting that! I think that's worse than if it made a sound. The fact that it was silent. I had a little heart attack. Boruto help. He was just hiding behind the trash. He was just hiding behind the trash. It's fine. Oh my god, little trash goblin hiding behind the trash. He's fine. He's chilling. He's chilling. Can you hear the desperation in my voice? He's chilling. We're chilling. No, I think it's officially better if it makes a sound for some reason. The silent one was way scarier. I can't even handle how many shit stains are on the ground though. Now I'm gonna have to mop the walls. What the hell is this? See, now I'm just, I'm kind of expecting things now. It is scary though, it is scary. I mean, this is by far scarier than anything I've played on Dreams or Roblox. But it is, you know, we got the first scare out of the way. I think it's gonna be fine now. No, but like, what is this house layout truly? And this man has one million trash cans, like precisely. I would love to have this mop though. I feel like after this experience, I could go door to door selling this mop. This mop can do anything. It's really wild and crazy how much horror uh, media I expose myself to while at the same time having occasionally debilitating anxiety <laughs> because it absolutely makes it worse. Without question, it makes it worse. But it's also kind of like the thing where, you know, sometimes you listen to a sad song, even though it kind of makes you sadder. It also like fits your own mood so well that for some reason it feels correct. Maybe that's what's going on with me and horror. Nice. Nice. So is this what's been going on? Is it blood? Is it blood, not shit? Is it shit or blood? Is it shit or blood? Is it both? Oh, I'm cleaning this too. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, no, this is gonna take- Oh my god, the magical mop is not quite magical enough to get this in one go. Th yeah, that's gonna take some time. Go home. Oh my god, I'm done. Oh my god, I'm done and I'm out of here. Oh, and something crawled under the bed. It's fine though. We're obviously gonna get scared again, uh, but it's fine. We're chilling. Why would I do that? Explain to me why I would do that. I'm going home. Oh, I actually can? Thank you so much for cleaning the house. Although you did break a very special and very expensive antique. You know what? So, that's yeah. fine. No, that's fine. And I think that's an ending I can accept. Because that was good enough for me. I did the right thing in that scenario. And I said, no, thank you. Like, every horror movie character can learn something from what I've done here. From what I've done here today, everyone can learn something. No Snake Hotel, they said, was made in 24 hours, so I feel like I'm gonna love it. If I'm learning anything from this month of videos, it's that I love a game that feels like it was thrown together. <laughs> I love a game that feels like it was thrown together with minimal planning and minimal care. Oh my god, the amount that I bounce when, I, when I'm walking around. Do you guys bounce to a stop like this? Okay, we found a note saying there are definitely no snakes here. I did see, you know, they did put the snake in the, in the thumbnail for the game, which is causing some doubts in my mind. We're going to room 100. There's little notes everywhere that are just accolades for how snake-free this place is. Isn't it funny how many notes exist in video games compared to real life? When was the last time you were just wandering around the world and stumbled upon a note? of any kind. There's something wrong with the electricity in this hall. I'm walking, I'm walking. Um, the furniture barricading the doors? Oh my god, I need the mop. Where's the mop? The mop would take care of this easily. Is this my room? Do I get the special suite? The special bloody suite? I love that for me. See, there's a snake. There's our first snake. That thing certainly couldn't have caused all this blood though, right? <laughs> god. What, what do I do about that? 
What do you do about that, realistically? Is that it? Could I have ran from him? Especially because I, I know where he spawns. I'm speed running now. Oh my god, I'm so fast. No one's ever been this fast. Okay. I swear to god I was running. Look at me positively speeding around this elevator right now. Like, my mom is pissed. She's yelling. She's like, you have to calm the fuck down. We're in public. And I'm like, you've never seen anyone this fast though, mom. I couldn't tell if that was actually an invisible wall or if I just got stuck on something. But if they're gonna let me run this fast, I should be able to run from that motherfucker. No. That's it. That's the whole game. Yeah, so this was, uh, 500 megabytes of my computer space that I used to walk down a hallway. This one looked super cool because it's like old pixel art. Like I love an abstract, pixely, glitchy looking game. Oh my God. Oh, is it gonna, it's gonna like change camera angles like suddenly when I move. I love that too. What's up? Oh my God, she's serving. She's serving in this like leather dress. I guess I'm looking, I'm looking for my brother. Dude, like I love how abstract the style is. These tree walls are just literal like, like murals. Whoa, this is just a vibe. I don't even know if this is really gonna be scary, but it is a vibe. Oh my god, me when I walk through the woods? Oh my god, me when I'm walking on a winding path through the woods? Encountering strange beings? Oh my god, me when I encounter a strange being? We met already, girl. You're slaying, I already said. She says my brother's gone deeper into the woods, um, and I trust her blindly. Any, any woman hanging out in the woods and slaying that hard, I have to trust her. Whoa, sorry to you. Mother? Wait, no, I want to follow her. Mother gave me a key? Me when I'm opening a gate? Look at how the stars up there, the sky is just like, flat. More unfortunate souls. Oh my god, she's looking evil now. So she probably took my face? I mean, for what it was, I loved it. For what it was, I was into it. See, that one was a great example of just like creating a spooky vibe. You know, not all horror has to give you a heart attack. It can be existential horror. You know, it can just be something that makes you think about your life and your mortality and how everything ends, no matter how hard you try. And it can also be about Squidward, not SpongeBob's hand over there on the right. Oh my God, this one's gonna change my life, I feel like. The weather was awful, but Patrick still went to SpongeBob's for the night to watch new episodes with Mermaid Man, of Mermaid Man. I also love a game with a very weak grasp of the English language. <laughs> so SpongeBob's not answering his phone, but Patrick's still going over there. I'm guessing that something has SpongeBob. happened to SpongeBob. The actual SpongeBob voice lines. Oh my God, I am Patrick. My wildest dreams coming true. I am Patrick. Oh, I can't open the doors. Okay. Why is his home so spacious? So spacious with so much space in the middle with nothing. It's immaculately kept. Something is going on in my basement, he says. Oh, he left the food for me. Oh, he left the food for me. Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. Like even his bathroom? Freaking huge. <gasps> Look at this adorable picture. He looks at this when he poops. Oh my God, all these places need the freaking mop. He's got the neon sign announcing where the basement is. We all have that. Mysterious electrical panel. Let's follow the trail of blood. That's what I'm thinking. Big rock? Big rock. Big and enormous uh, red rock. Hello? I hate spam calls. Oh my god, I hate spam calls. When you answer and they just hang up, what's up with that? Oh, the basement's locked. I heard a Squidward footstep, dude. Please. I can hear him. Oh my God, there's rocks everywhere now. Squidward's footsteps as like a far away spooky noise is so funny. That sink would not work. It's going outside, the, the sink is going outside the sink. That door continues to be locked. I continue to check it every time. It continues to be locked. Please. Can I go in here? Oh my God. What was he doing with the panel? Did he just kill Mr. Krabs? Oh my god, Mr. Krabs, no! Your eyeball! Oh my god, there's dark, dark stuff going on in SpongeBob's home right now. And the pineapple under the sea, there's stuff going on that you wouldn't believe. Fix the light? That would be the circuit breaker. That would be the circuit breaker. Oh my god, I'm an electrician. Is it gonna scare me while I do this? I mean, what is this, Dead by Daylight? 
Get out of here! Not him with the maniacal laughter. Would you guys say maniacal or maniacal? Okay, because it does like have the word maniac in it, but I've always said maniacal because that sounds more like a word. Oh, the basement's open. SpongeBob said something's going on in the basement. That's all. That was too loud. You guys, my speakers are so low and that was so loud. It was like it hacked my system. I don't even want to know what that sound file looked like. No, not demonic Spongebob. That's kind of like an avant-garde sleigh. Oh my God, the dismembered parts of Mr. Krabs everywhere. This is the most ineffective flashlight. What the fuck is going on in Spongebob's basement? Not only what is going on, but like what? Not Squidward hiding around every crack and crevice. There's too much going on in this basement, frankly, for me. What is he? Is is? Is this a, is it a doomsday bunker? What are you keeping for doomsday? Big balls. What is that? Peanut brittle? Peanut brittle and big balls? No. I love this too about games where everybody writes a note right before they die. That's so funny. <laughs> Not that they died, but like that they would like get a pen and paper out and write something down real quick. I heard a noise from the pantry. So this is your pantry? Jesus Christ, dude. It bit off my fucking hand. No, Spongebob saying fuck. Spongebob can't say fuck. Oh my god, you've looked better, my guy. Oh. So I need to find some keys to get out of here, probably. I'm so lost. There's- I'm so lost. This is a maze. This is a freaking maze. Who dug this place? Spongebob. When did you- Oh my god. What? What just happened? It just teleported me? I would have thought there would be a jump scare. There was no jump scare, it just teleported me in silence. I'm so lost. It's so huge. There's no keys. Where am I- where are the keys? In the cans of big balls? Where did they get all these nasty ass pictures of Squidward? Oh my god, no wonder he's- he's just like stomping around here trying to find all these nasty ass pictures that Spongebob has to get them taken down. He's like, why do you have these? Oh my god, he was behind me. Dude, find three keys where exactly? I've been around this whole entire place now. There he is. Lurking. Like, is there supposed to be a jump scare when he gets me? Oh, he doesn't even care where I am. He's not even chasing me, he's just chilling, we're just chilling together. I'm not understanding, I'm going everywhere there is to go. Oh. Oh my god, do I follow him? He does not seem okay. Is he gonna turn around? Which way are you gonna go, my guy? Oh, he does try to get me, sometimes. There's a key at the end of that hallway. I'm becoming annoyed. <laughs> Christ. I became annoyed, guys. I'm sorry I became annoyed. Okay, this is the ending. We just, we find the keys, we go out the exit, and then we just see this little cutscene of Patrick running for his little life. Sorry, I mean, I'm playing this right now. I'm playing this and I just, and I beat the game and that's that. As usual with my videos, sorry uh, for whatever you've just experienced. I hope you're having a lovely Halloween, whatever that means to you. If it's sitting on the couch with your hand in a big candy bag or um, running around the neighborhood, putting your hands in little kids' candy bags or um, kidnapping the little kids and taking all their candy and leaving them on an unfamiliar street. Regardless of which of those three things it is, I hope you're having a great time. I'm gonna go change out of this costume that is made out of the itchiest fabric of Satan's hell. Bye. God, can you see google.com on my laptop as my light right now? <laughs> oh my god, I gotta angle away. Oh my god, am I slaying?